Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Anyways, I hope you all are doing well and I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you are when you're watching this video. But before we go ahead and get into today's video and what I have to talk about, if you're new here, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications bell as well so you get notified of whenever I upload videos and that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads because just yesterday I was looking at my YouTube analytics and come to find out over 70% of you guys that watch my fucking videos are not subscribed. And I'm asking, why aren't you subscribed? You know it's free, right? It doesn't cost you any money, doesn't cost you anything. Literally, you could just scroll down right now as I'm talking, smash the subscribe button if you're new, smash it until it says subscribe, duh. And then on the right, turn on that post notifications bell like I said, okay? I'm gonna give you a second to do that right now. Did you smash the subscribe button yet? Are you sure? All right, sounds good. Anyways, if you happen to be watching this video as well, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button before we go ahead and hop into it. But anyways, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys five things that I've been doing in helping maintain my sanity or just helping myself get through this time that we are going through. And for those of you that do not know or if you happen to live under a fucking rock, well, the world is going through a global pandemic right now called the coronavirus. Coronavirus! or COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it. And since that has started, I have noticed on social media, on the news, and a bunch of articles that I've been reading recently that the cases for people's poor mental health has been increased by 30 to 40%. I don't know the exact statistics because obviously with different articles, they give different percentages, but the consensus that I came to was 30 to 40% increase in like, more people having poor mental health. Like it used to be prior to this pandemic, it used to be one in five people. Now it's two to three people in five people, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys five different things. Now, I know on this whiteboard, there's only four, just because my whiteboard is fucking small, but I'll be sharing a fifth one as a bonus for you guys. And by the way, these are in no specific order, just because I find them all equally as important, hence the bullet points and why I didn't put numbers, because if I put numbers, you guys would probably follow the first one and forget about the rest. So yeah, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one that we'll be talking about is exercising. Now, for those of you that do not know, I'm a crackhead for exercising. Like, I love fitness. Obviously, this channel is related to fitness, and that is definitely one thing that I've been doing since this whole pandemic has started with us quarantining and like the gyms and the parks closing and stuff like that. And I know for a majority of us, the gym or working out outside was like our safe haven for our sanity. It's basically a time where we can spend two to three hours and just forget about life and just go smash some weights or smash a workout. And since that closing, I know for a lot of us, it's been kind of hard, but regardless, I mean, if you guys have Instagram, you guys know a lot of your favorite fitness influencers or influencer, influencers influencers in general, people have been posting home workouts. And if you happen to not start your fitness journey yet, or you've thought about it, now's a good time to start it just because you have all this extra time now. I'm pretty sure most of you guys aren't working and you guys are bored at home. Why not get a start on your fitness goals and start building that habit so that when society goes back to normal, you can get into the gym and you can really start making a permanent change in your life. And if you guys didn't know, exercising also gives us physical and mental health benefits. Besides the physical, besides strengthening our cardiovascular and our, and our muscular systems and a ton of other benefits, in terms of our mental health, after you smash a workout, your body releases hormones called, uh, sorry, your body releases a group of hormones called endorphins and basically that's your feel good hormones. Like that's the feeling you get after you smash your workouts or after you accomplished something or you've done something productive. Like I have never heard anybody dread or regret doing a workout. I know at the beginning you may hate it, but by the end of it, I promise you, you'll look back and be like, damn, I'm glad I did that workout. But yeah, that is one thing that I've definitely been doing is trying my best in keeping up with my exercise regimen. Even though I'm not lifting heavy ass weights and doing all that stuff, I am working on other goals such as my mobility, strengthening my endurance, my cardiovascular system, and simply working out outside for a change of scenery instead of the gym. All right, number two, or I should stop saying numbers because like I said, you guys are probably just gonna follow the first one or two. The second one, 
<laughs> keeping in touch with your friends. Now, I know with this one, obviously with bars, restaurants, clubs being closed and the government recommending us to in staying at home and practicing social distancing. I know for a majority of us, we've unfortunately lost that face-to-face -face interaction or that physical interaction with our friends. Like whenever like, let's say you dap up your homies or you give your friends a hug or I know for a lot of us, that's important like the physical and the face-to-face -face interaction, but I mean, you should still do your best in keeping in touch with your friends. I mean, now we have technology, we have iPhones, we have this thing called FaceTime. Like call a friend, call somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Or if there's a friendship that you wanna put more effort into, make that time or make that effort in putting more effort into that friendship or just call them say hey hey what's up how you been like what's been going on i know for me that's definitely been big especially since i do deal with depression and for those of you my good friends that know me like i spent prior to this quarantine i spent like almost a hundred percent of the time by myself like i used to barely go out i still well obviously now i can't go out but I didn't go out, I barely went to parties and stuff like that and like I just enjoyed being alone. However though, with this quarantine, I know for a fact being alone now 100% of the time, like even more alone than I was before, it's definitely taking a toll on me because I was telling my friends Larry and Raph the other night when I was talking to them that like I'm tired of spending all this time by myself. Now obviously right now it's for a good reason and just before this pandemic happened, I was actually putting forth effort into going out more and like just engaging with more of my friends and just meeting new people and stuff like that. But now I've just been heavily relying on FaceTiming people, texting my friends, just t trying to talk to them on a regular basis, especially with those friends that I haven't talked to in a while. And I know for those of you that have watched my last video, you guys know that Emily shaved my fucking head, which by the way, the patch is still fucking there after a week, but the, most of you don't know. She came back into my life two months ago. Um, prior to that, God knows why she disappeared on me for the previous, I don't know, time. Like I haven't, I didn't speak to her for quite a while. And obviously we had our reasons, but I'm just glad that we were able to reconnect and become good friends again. And not only that, but it definitely brought back another person to my life so that you know i have more people to spend time with and stuff like that but that's the second one make sure you keep in touch with your friends especially if you lacked that communication before this quarantine with all this extra time now make sure you put forth effort in the friendships that you think that matter or if losing your sanity slowly from being alone all the time call them number three or should i say the third one or the next one the next one on this clipboard <sighs> man i suck at this sitting down shit I'm good at vlogging now, but I suck at sitting down and talking to you guys because my words are all over the place. But the next one is relaxing. Now, I know for me, this one has been a big one and this is something that I've been practicing more of recently. Um, just because prior to this, all this stuff happening, I know for a majority of us, we see on social media all the time, how people always tell you to hustle, to grind, like 24 seven, like don't sleep, like just work, 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 work. Recently, since this has been happening, I've been trying to rewire my brain and telling myself that it's okay to relax, that my life timeline is completely different from somebody else's life timeline. Like you can still be successful or you can still achieve the same level of success while learning to balance your life, learning to relax, to watch movies, to like pick up hobbies. Like not every hobby you do has to be a hobby that has the potential of making money. Sometimes people just wanna sit back and learn how to play the guitar or some people just wanna watch a movie for two or three hours with their loved ones or Whatever the case may be, learn to relax because I know prior to this, pretty sure everybody on this fucking planet was stressing out about their life, their money, their future, etc. I think now is the time that we practice balance and that we teach ourselves that it's okay to have leisure time and to know when it's time to work. The next one is going to be addressing your feelings. Now, I know for a majority of you watching this video, you guys probably party a lot, go out a lot, you guys spend a lot of time with your friends, and you spend little time by yourself. That is definitely something I've noticed with a lot of people that I follow on social media and all my friends from high school, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not here to bash anybody, that's not my intent. But what I tend to notice with a lot of people is a lot of people tend to have an escape 
when it comes to like suppressing how they feel. And I've noticed on social media now with what's been going on, a lot of people are forced to spend time by themselves and now you gotta face your feelings and you gotta face basically your fears of yourself. Like whatever you were suppressing prior to this quarantine and this coronavirus happening, whether you were going out and partying, let's say you were sleeping with a lot of people or you were smoking a lot of weed and now you're just like, well, fuck, I don't have anything to do and like I'm depressed and all this shit. Now's the time to figure out why you feel certain ways. Why do I feel depressed in the morning? Why do I feel depressed at night? Why do I feel angry towards this person? Why do, why am I angry at myself? I've noticed with some of my friends and myself, we're pretty good at addressing how we feel and I recommend you guys spend time by yourself. The majority of people I know do not spend enough time by themselves. And now with this free time, like I said, and I'm, I've repeated this probably quite a few times in this video, address how you feel. Finally, sit down with yourself or look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, okay, what are some emotions or feelings that I have towards someone or something that I've been suppressing that I need to finally address because I have no choice at this point. I cannot go out, I cannot run away from it. So make sure you do that. And then the last one, the bonus one that I'm going to add as well, the fifth one that I've been doing in helping maintain my sanity or doing my best in maintaining my sanity is I've been learning a new skill or working towards new goals. I know this isn't for everybody. Not I know for a lot of people, like especially with this going on, not everybody can turn this time into a productive time. Me on the other hand, that is something I've been doing. Like for example, just very recently, I've been learning how to get into the stock market and I've just been like getting into stocks and all that stuff and to be quite honest, it's kind of exciting. It's definitely a gamble, but seeing how the stocks are right now with everything like plummeting, like the stock market has been the worst it's ever been and according to dozens of articles, it, it was worst it was worse than the 2008 recession. And me being new to the stock market, it's an exciting time because that gives me an opportunity to buy a bunch of stocks and hopefully make a lot of money in the long term. But I recommend you guys, if there's something you've always been wanting to do, or if there's something that you've been putting off but is constantly on your mind every day, use this time, start it now. I know for me, it's been fun, it's definitely been challenging, but I'm excited to continue. And even after this quarantine, I wanna continue building my stock portfolio and doing that. But yeah, that's basically five things, or my top five things that I've been doing in helping myself maintain my sanity and me helping myself cope with my depression. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys have been doing and if you guys find any of these tips helpful. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Leave a comment down below. If you found this video helpful and if you know anybody out there that can find this video helpful, be sure to go ahead and share this video with a friend, a family member, or anybody you know. And last but not least, if you're new here, I want you to go and do two things for me. First of all, I want you to go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you can go ahead and be a part of the family and be a part of the journey. And second of all, I want you to turn on that post notifications, that bell button right there, so you get notified of whenever I upload a video so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And by the way, I hope you guys smashed the subscribe button at the fucking beginning because I had to tell you twice now, okay? Okay, so if you haven't already, smash it for your boy because it's free. Like, literally nothing happens. You just, you just subscribe to me. That's it. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace.